Hey there. Today, we are in the studio. We're gonna be working on a nice bit large painting over here, a little two foot by four foot painting. We're coming in, kind of gotten things set up a little bit. Did a bit of a drawing using both um, HB pencil and some charcoal just to get the basic shapes of the shrimp. As you can see here, we got big shrimp, big shrimp, big shrimp. So on this side, we are putting, uh, I am putting corn on the cob. A couple pieces of that there. This area over here will be the edge of the plate. And give it a little bit of something to sit on. Um, and then I'm going to darken this back area here to push it away. Lose some edges along these shrimps right here. Uh, um, anyway, the, the, the main thought that I'm having while I paint this particular painting is I'm going to worry about, um, think a lot about the number of strokes per square inch. Okay, number of paint brush strokes per square inch. And I'm, I'm going to have a lot more strokes per square inch than the main shrimp. This guy's the hero, okay? He's the hero, he's gonna have the darkest darks, the brightest brights, and the most detailed and smallest strokes. Um, as you move away from the hero, I'm going to start to use bigger and bigger brushes and fewer and fewer brush strokes per square inch, if it works out. That's the idea. So the corner of the cow will be somewhat detailed because they're close to the hero. But when you get down here to this end, um, this is going to be pretty, pretty abstract. A little bit thick, thicker or thinner paint. A little bit um, uh, fewer brushes. Meaning painting with larger brushes. You know, if we can, if we can paint a couple of strokes with that over on this side, um, I think we'll be in good shape. Again, um, trying the main thought in my mind today, strokes per square inch and varying it from this area to this area. So you think this is all dark shadow brushed, really big giant strokes over here. And this number five is over this guy. Alright? Well, as you can see I've also got uh, my GoPro set up here. It's Time lapse as we film this. So let's um let's cut to the time lapse, and I will jump in every once in a while to give you uh, some thoughts as I go along. All right, ready and. guy here for, let's call it uh, an hour after I got the drawing done. So you can see I've got three of the shrimps uh, begin, begun to be laid in. The drawing I think is working out pretty well. The composition I think is going to be strong. There's going to be a nice um, yellow ear of corn to help draw your eye towards the hero shrimp, the one that is situated perfectly and the nice, beautiful curl that you would expect. These are shrimp that don't have heads, but do have peels. So you'll see, or the shells, I should say. Um, so you'll see the little legs that'll be right here. Obviously, it's got this nice tail. I'm exaggerating the color in the tail a little bit. You're gonna see a little bit of bright red. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna play with the light to see if I can get it to glow a little bit there. Again, this guy's the hero. Um, as I move farther this way again, I'm going to reduce the number of strokes. Um, but right now, these, this is just the underpainting, painting, right? So I'm just trying to get a little bit of form, a little bit of light, to try to indicate that it's got some dimension, dimension to it. Um, but it's coming along okay, I think. Um, trying to show darkest dark against the lightest light. 
So that'll be a, almost a pure white reflection off of this shrimp in the darkest shadow underneath there. There's also going to be a real dark spot in this area. Again, to get this, there'll be a highlight right here, right next to the darkest dark, the lightest light. Um, I think that's it for right now. I will be back uh, shortly to walk you through. I'm gonna try to get the rest of the underpainting done um, quickly. All right, thanks. Okay, as you can see, made quite a bit of progress here on the shrimp painting. Again, two foot by four foot. It's um, coming along. The hero shrimp, you can see, um, has a lot more detail on it than it did before. Uh, everything else is pretty much still just roughed in. The corn's extremely roughed in. Don't look at that, that's not that good yet. Um, these shrimps, remember at this side, we're gonna be a lot less brush strokes per square inch. That's the main theme I'm going here. So Hero Shrimp gets the most detail, the most contrast, the tightest brush strokes. Each one you move farther and farther away, it gets looser and looser. Fewer brush strokes, um, lost edges and everything. These are gonna be some um, lost and found um, sort of uh, what are they, uh, red skin potatoes that you would get in a low country shrimp boil. Um, that's why there's the corn also. Um, and so the idea is that this is a, um, a plate, a giant platter of, um, that you would find at a shrimp boil. Um, but it's coming along well. I like my shrimp. I think he's come out pretty, pretty well. There's maybe a little bit of work that I'll do on it after I start to see how the others relate to him. Um, but uh, we're getting there. I'm packing it in for the day though. It's time to go pick up uh, my six-year-old from school. Um, so I'll pack it in, but I'm back tomorrow and I will jump right back at this and, uh, and knock it out. Um, it's probably got two more days of painting left in it. Um, I've got the next step tomorrow will be getting this level of detail on all of the shrimp, the corn, and the potatoes. And then the third day would be refining my, my concept of brush strokes per square inch, making sure I get that, hit that mark, um, making sure that I've got decent darks and, and good highlights. And then at the end, um, it'll be some sort of making sure that the color harmony works across the whole page. Or canvas here. Um, and then a couple of fine, fine details and then I'll wrap it up. So I think by Thursday, this, this project will be done. All right, well, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.